So another set that we built, or at least a partial set, was the engineering station at the back of the bridge and the kind of little bit of adjoining bulkhead that's next to that. So that was quite fun because although it was such a tiny part of the set, building part of a starship bridge is, is fun no matter how small your little piece is that you're building and you just kind of look at it just that little bit that you've built and you can kind of use your imagination to imagine that you've got the whole thing. Again, I reused as much of the plexiglass as I could from the other sets that we'd used it in. Those graphics that were in the wall, I don't think anybody really knows what they do or, or why they're there, but it was fun to kind of research that and, and, and make that. And of course, the controls themselves where Arjun is sat, that was all really cool. And I had the guide of the proper show so I could get those controls pretty accurate to how they would no doubt be on a similar ship to the Enterprise. I was tempted to have some graphics on the uh, on the sort of side wall as well but i just couldn't justify the expense of of making a whole new set of graphics because they're expensive to print those things out so so just decided to keep it blank a kind of half and half between the first season of next gen where it was literally like bulkhead there and then the later seasons where it was plexi but had graphics so it was plexi but no graphics so that's a happy medium i figured i could live with she's gone it had to fit into CG Bridge, which I think we did a pretty good job of. I'm quite pleased with the way it turned out. Wherever I could, I would shoot in camera so that we didn't need to do any green screen at all, although I think only really get away with that once in the end. But wherever possible, I would get Arjun or Alexa or both of them to stay within the confines of the physical set. So that way I didn't actually have to do any chroma keying or green screening on, on them. It was just like hard edges on the set, which is 10 times easier. Some of the, the more involved shots, like the reverse Jim, he did those. He's got a really cool 3D bridge model, so he was able to do those ones. But a lot of the other shots of just kind of Arjun sat at the back with the turbo lift behind him and stuff. I did those myself. I went through Trek Core and found loads and loads of stills, the HD screen grabs that they did from Next Gen. And I would just scroll through page after page until I found shots that were from similar angles to the ones that I'd used. And then I would kind of drop them in as a rough guide and scale it up as needed. And then hand painted over the uh, actual image from an episode and recreated it that way kind of piece by piece every like little highlight and shadow and, and stuff so that I think it's pretty darn accurate to what you'd have got from the show and, and to me that was working better than integrating the 3D model which I had. I sort of figured this method was actually better for what I was trying to do so that's what I did. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that little video. If you did, then please like it and uh, leave a comment if you're inclined. Even if you hated it, why not? You might as well go crazy. Uh, and also please subscribe as well. We really appreciate that. And uh, stay tuned for some more videos coming soon. And uh, thanks for watching.